Hi, I am getting some. Hello. Hello. Good night. I'm getting some. <laughs> Good night. Hi. Yes, I'm there you are. Am I clear? Yes. Yes, you're clear. Yes, you're clear. Yes. Good you're night, everybody. Good night. Uh, hi. Hi. Where's the spoon? I Where's the spoon on the pod cover? I'm getting <laughs> feedback. I don't know from where. Are you getting feedback from my end? No, we're not. We're giving you perfectly, um, um, Rose. The only feedback is you getting it. We're not getting it. Yes, please. We are hearing you loud and clear. It's better now. It was always been good. We hear you loud and clear. <laughs> okay, I was getting awful feedback. My end. Good night, everybody, to the viewers. And this yeah, going yeah. to be quick. Um, I would encourage everybody to try our best to be out on Sunday, whether we can do so from the starting point and be in the motorcade or find out from you where we can connect but certainly let's have a grand rally in St. John and you know Marcia and all the others my my penchant for for the English language and I'm coming in on some notes that I made very briefly and this has to do with that debate as well on on the, the the bill the concession bill presented by the mp for saint peter in his capacity as the minister of labor and he said something that i played over and over and in presenting the paper he talked about misfits he said he has no time of the day for misfits. And he called the misfits as persons who are out there making noise in public space. And he said there are two categories of persons, a small group of persons who are seeking political relevance who are seeking to distort the narrative. And he called those persons misfits, ones who are interested in their ego and seeking political relevance. And I found that very insulting to the Barbadian public. We are not misfits. And I did my research, and the Cambridge Dictionary said, a misfit is someone who's not accepted socially by other people because his or her behavior is unusual. A person who is not accepted by a particular group of people, especially by their behavior, because their ideas or behaviors are very different. Hence, the term which is used in a derogatory, negative way, misfit. He is saying this, he said that the people of St. Peter did not send him into the House of Assembly to be distracted by misfits. And therefore, he is seeking to, to, to speak to the bigger group who are victims of misinformation. I'm glad he admitted that because any misinformation is not coming from this group of misfits over here. That is why you have to go out and represent yourself. Thank you, Maxine, for that very passionate, instructive, um, um, message you have sent out there. That's how we're being seen as miss 
fits. They continue to call us by these derogatory terms. Just because we choose to speak out, just because we choose to educate, just because we come on this channel and we seek to present information, research information, he in the privilege of the, 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 the house in presenting yeah. a bill that Ralph Torn, MP Ralph Torn, who is now the leader of opposition, got up and tore to pieces so eloquently and so sought to inform us as well as inform them his rebuttal in presenting that bill was to talk not and he didn't make an aside and i said shame on you not only as mp representing certainly some misfits in in saint peter because some misfits did not vote for you so i assume that those who did not vote for him are misfits also and that the people of saint peter did not send him there to to deal with these misfits and this i'm going to say it again i made my note he talked about those who make noise in public space we don't have the privilege of the house until now um mp ralph is there but we did not have that privilege in the house of assembly to make noise they make more noise than us in the house presenting misinformation but because we have gone to that point we are on saturday because remember his delivery came after our march on saturday and therefore in the privilege of the house he has chosen to talk about describe this category of person as misfits and assuming and seeing directly that this group is seeking political relevance that's insulting they are seeking political re uh, relevance and sometimes they're not very relevant at all and that we are seeking this those category of persons we're distorting narrative and we're interested in our own political future my political future if there's any like you maxine and as well and all the others is to make sure that the present now enables a future not my political relevance not my political future but the future for generations to come and we are being called misfits ghetto people and march and you know what i say there goes the elder of a church so condescending and calling the citizens of Barbados who do not agree with them, who do not want any wishy-washy bill to be passed. We are labeled as misfits. But I'm encouraging yourself and myself that the Urban Dictionary says that misfits always stand out a misfit has unique set of skills a you a, a misfit is usually very straightforward and a misfit a misfit does not have a lot of best friends within this group of misfit here i am glad to be associated with you those of you who I can see here right now, Maxine Caswell, Marcia uh, Kimar, I am glad to be associated with you, Miss Fix, because we are going to continue to bring relevance 
to a situation in Barbados that has become irrelevant and out of touch. So people get out there and rally and be an irritant. The names are piling up. We are treasonous. We keep a lot of noise. Then the MP, when she was presenting the cyber um, crime bill, call us irritants. You know who was an irritant? I researched it. And irritant is a substance that causes inflammation or other discomfort to the body. It is a thing that is continually annoying or distracted, distracting and used figurative, figuratively. An irritant is someone or something that bugs you, causes irritation and annoyance. So when we speak out, we are causing irritation, we bugging them and we annoyance. You know that if a fly is on you, that's an irritant. So we're like flies on them. And they're insulting us. They don't the 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 leader didn't the leader talk about easy come easy go that's how they see us yeah. easy come easy go they feel that we are probably and we will be described if we we just back off and are erased from the the, the face of this landscape in barbados at this time if we back off now they will say see them easy come easy go but as the, the yeah. sounds i ain't going nowhere I'm here to stay. So people out there who are listening, I ain't going away. let the misfits come out on Sunday and be yeah. irritants. And uh, I almost choose what the person was saying. You know, last line where they say where the guy um, signed the, the, the lawsuit, be irritants in their walk. Tell. I ain't saying Tell. that. <laughs> I ain't saying it. Tell. But I... to know that they cannot do a debate or a discussion without insulting the people of Barbados. This is no longer a political platform in some community where you want the crowd to laugh and, and cackle. This is a serious, the House of Assembly, the lower house and the Senate, and Maxine would know, and Cassibel would know, these are important institutions that should set the tone for good governance and good representation and good, good behavior. And this gentleman, yeah, yeah. I really had respect for the Minister of Labor, but to be called a misfit, I am a misfit. That is insulting. That is derogatory. And then well, guess what? Guess what, Rose? Guess what, Rose? If we had the cybercrime bill, um, you know, someone like him, it would not apply to him because he has parliamentary privilege. So he would have yes. said that in parliament and you would have been offended by them. So this is something that you will, we will continue to talk when you get the microphone on that truck passing through the communities and let the people know that he could offend us and we would have no recourse because he would have said it in parliament oh, yeah. and this this is what is so wrong with with this whole bill and that is why we're coming out again on sunday don't get tired don't get weary in well-doing as the good book says do not get tired we are going to be out there everybody come we're starting right there at Westburn, um, Westburn Mall, at the corner of Westbury Road and Baxter's Road. Everybody come out, come out, come out. On the screen here, we have the route. The, the, this is the route that has been sanctioned by the, um, by the police. Um, you know, we didn't want to put it out there until we get the, the go ahead, go ahead. But this is the route. And I'm going to put it on my Facebook. If you see it, just share it. If everybody share it, all those now of you share it, everybody will get the root and join in. Join in. Let us be peaceful and let us, you know, we're going to make sure we obey, abide by the law and we're going to have a great time of education. You know, it's always great when we come together. 
so we're not going to miss it okay everybody and um miss mclean i'm going to give kimar the final final word tonight miss mclean one last thing and then kimar and then we're done we got way over time now well I, I would just i want to thank rose basically because when she made reference to the minister of labor's comments my only comment is i define misfit as square pegs and round holes <laughs> um, and, and, you know i that's that's it so i i say to him make sure that you're not a misfit um i i thank the people who take the time to watch this show and for you who take time to share what you share because everywhere i go supermarket church wherever you hear the same thing you know this is yes. this is educational um and and it's, people just don't miss the show yes thank you miss mclean um kimar kimar the man that sent john the people i got on to St. john and everybody talking to me about kimar kimar somebody from the uk called me today listen I want Kimar when he goes to St. John to do this and that. I want him in St. John. I don't have I mean, like I don't have anything to do with that. So Kimar, can you talk to the people? Um give them give us a final word. Yes, well, uh, thanks to everyone for tuning on to the show this evening. It was very good for sure. Uh, we always enjoy. Um Sunday, 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 we'll be at Gall Hill in St. John. Uh, we'll be leaving our old stomping ground at West Railroad, the city, and heading up to St. John uh, on our Mordecai, uh, passing through the communities. Residents will come out and hear us on the truck, and we'll be having a family evening at Gall Hill. Uh, I will definitely be raising some issues affecting the people in St. John. Uh, we've been there, Marcia, you know, we went to the little, couple of locations around the communities and we got direct information about some of the issues impacting um, the people in St. John, some very serious issues. And as was said today in Parliament, um, the MP for St. John said he's coming to deal with people who had things to say about him. Uh, about a pool project. So St. John promises to be a hive of activity um, this weekend. But I always said I had something to reveal on the show. So if you come to St. John, you all will hear exactly what we had to share that we didn't get to share uh, earlier in the week about these houses. <laughs> yeah, so more, more about those four houses right there. Um, and Pool St. John and the misfits. Where are the misfits? Who <laughs> will let me tell you? They they they're gonna they they're gonna see. Um, I'm sure they're gonna hear. Um, on 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 Sunday, they're probably there watching as well. I know the BLP has a meeting as well in St. John. Um, you know we're misfits, but they're following us. The BLP has a meeting in St. John that was sent to me. Um, to, um this morning. So here we go. But, um, you know, we, we keep focusing on the country. God bless you all. And we see you on Sunday, you all. Have a great weekend. God bless you. See you on Sunday. Bye-bye, Bye everybody. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. As soon as you cut the string. <laughs>